Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another MLB free agency signing video. Today we are talking about the big boy, Gary Sanchez, and he is linked to sign with three possible teams. This report is based off of MLB.com's Morosi, so obviously, you know, he's a pretty big guy in the MLB landscape, so... We'll have to see if you agree or disagree with what he says. Again, this is just me reporting on that and giving my opinion on it. But let me know what you guys think. That's why I do make these videos is because I want to know your thoughts on, in this case, Gary Sanchez, where he belongs, where you think he could go. So let's jump right into it. Gary Sanchez, he was with the Twins last year, came over in the trade with Gio Urshela. And it's ironic if you're a Twins fan. I'm a Twins fan. But it's ironic that... He had his best season. Gary Sanchez had his best season um, in multiple years. <laughs> and now both Sanchez and Urshela have been shipped out. Oddly enough, both could end up with the Angels. So, I don't know. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa and Josh Donaldson for the Twins. And then they both go to the Angels. So, the Angels end up getting... It's really weird. But, let's talk about it. Where does Gary Sanchez fit? And I think it's surprising that the Twins did not offer him back. Or at least, you know get him for one more year. The Twins don't have a ton of good catchers on their roster. They got rid of Garver. Now they have Jeffers. He's their main guy. I know they had Caleb Hamilton for a while. So Gary Sanchez was a pretty good bat and he was power. He was a good backup when he needed to be or, you know, they just switched. I don't think backup's the right word there, but he was kind of a filler spot. Like he did his job he wasn't great, and I think that, honestly, for the Twins, he was most disappointing last season, and that might affect his statue and his his contract moving forward, and that's why I think these three teams aren't necessarily playoff contenders, and, and maybe that hurts him a little bit, but I think he's a good catcher, mostly a good hitter. Like, he is a decent player, not one of the best for sure, but here are his stats. Let's, let's touch base here first. He was a .9 war player, uh, and his career is 13. So, like, probably a little bit below average this year, but still an above average player based on that number. He had 16 home runs and uh, 61 RBI. He had a 205 batting average and an OPS plus of 89. So, as you can tell, those numbers are not good compared to his standards. I mean, if you look at his home run totals over the last couple of years, he had 33 back when he was in the all-star MVP conversation. He won a silver slugger that year. In 2019, when he was an all-star as well, he had 34 home runs, but really kind of dipped off since then. In 2020, during the COVID year, only had 10. And then this year, arguably his worst year ever, maybe, um, he had a 16. So really kind of went downhill in the terms of hitting, but he still is that power guy, you know. But he went up in his defensive stats a little bit. He's had the least amount of pass balls um, and best catch framing rate since 2018. So that's good. But like I said, this is a guy who's going to three teams that are not really playoff contenders. First, we'll start with the Royals. Obviously, the Royals have their guy, Salvador Perez. He is getting a little bit older, though. He will be 33 next year. I know Sanchez is kind of in that same range. What is he? He's 30 as well, or will be 30 next year. So you've got two older catchers if you go down the Royals route. But, you know, Salvador Perez has been injured uh, in previous years. Um, obviously, 2019 didn't play, like, at all. And 2020 only played in about half the games. Last year, only played in 114. He's still a good player, and in 2021, he definitely showed it. Um, leading the league in home runs, he also led in RBI at 121. He had 48 home runs. He was in the MVP conversation. Really good catcher still, and that's obviously the Royals' number one. The only reason that I would say it isn't a great fit for Gary Sanchez, he's basically the same kind of guy as Salvador Perez, lacking more of the defense, right? Salvador Perez, obviously a great hitter, a great power bat, but he's a good defender. And that's why his, his season last year, 2.7 war in 23 home runs, 76 RPI, and a 110 OPS plus, like those are all way better numbers than Gary Sanchez. And if you go with a guy like Sanchez, you're both, you're getting two right-handed bats who are both power hitters, who are both I mean, one's good at defense, one's not great at defense. It doesn't really make sense why the uh, Royals would go after him. 
And in fact, I'm not even sure why they would report on this. It out of the three teams, the Royals are a team that are not really mentioned in this uh, in this rumor by MLB.com. So I'm not sure why they stuck him in the headline, but I guess maybe you take a backup because you need a backup kind of thing, and that would make sense for the Royals. On the other hand, though, I think the Angels are a more possibility. They do have Mr. Logan, number one overall prospect, um, I believe from, uh, what, 2018? Is that right? He is the the Angels' number one prospect, um, and they, they could use a guy, a veteran guy, I think, if you look at the Angels. He, I think, would be funny if you, uh, again, go off of uh, the Twins trade where they both don't or the, the, both the guys that were with the Twins and the Yankees end up with the Angels. But if you look at the Angels' depth chart right now, they have Max Stassi, which is, or Stassi, sorry, Max Stassi, who is, I mean, okay. Like, I don't think you want him behind the plate every game. I would, I don't know if he is, is your guy, is what I'm trying to say here, especially with your number one prospect coming up, 31 years old, he had a 180 average last year, nine home runs, like that is not a guy who you want out there every day, if you put a guy like Sanchez out there, same age, maybe a little bit more powerful, like he's a guy who I would rather have than Stassi, but if you have your number one overall prospect coming up, then I think that you run into the problem of having three catchers. That's too many. So does it make sense from that standpoint that the Angels would take him? I don't know. I think you would have to trade Stassi or at least you're waiting another year on your number one prospect. It doesn't make a ton of sense. And Sanchez can pretty much only play catcher or DH. They obviously have Otani. They went out and made a couple of other trades. They are good in most aspects. Catcher might be the worst of the Angels organization. They went and got Brett Phillips, right? So, like, catcher might be the worst spot in the Angels organization right now, what they're needing the most. And Gary Sanchez probably fits that well. But if you have your number one over prospect coming up soon, um, I guess it doesn't say when. His ETA is 2022. So, I, he probably got some at-bats last year. Let me see. Did it say? Yeah, in 2022, batted 286. Five games, got two RBI. Okay, so he's he's on the up and coming, and I think that if you go with with Logan here, you're gonna you're gonna play him more, right? He I don't think is your number one yet, but I don't think you put Gary Sanchez and Stassi in front of him, and then you're just taking away at bats from one of your best up and coming players. So again, it might make sense if you want to do something with Stassi, but the team that I think he will end up with is the Giants. And this is why. On their roster right now, they only have one catcher. That is Joey Bart. And I think Joey Bart is a guy who, he he had expectations, right? He was drafted first overall, or second overall, sorry, first round of the 2018 draft. He came up with the Giants in 2020, played about half the games, did not play like at all in 2021. Last year was really his first year that he really got in the majors, right? 97 games, had a batting average of 215, had 11 home runs, 25 RBI, and an OPS plus of 86. I think the high expectations are still there, and I think this is the year that he proves himself, or at least has to, um, being 26 years old as well. But now you look at a guy like Gary Sanchez, who is a veteran, right? He has gotten better at defense. He is a pretty good power hitter. It's a big park. It might not be a lot of home runs, but he might be able to split the gap. He did that a lot with the Twins, had a lot of doubles. Um, so you're looking at a guy who really fits in this Giants organization. Deep park, power bat, and with one guy on the roster, that's it, in Joey Bart, you need another guy. And if not, a backup, again, a guy who you can switch in and out every other day or so. That's what most teams do anyway. So if you need a guy, go get Gary Sanchez because he is, I don't think, terribly expensive. He's $10 million or so. I think the Giants haven't made a ton of moves this year. If I can, I can't really think of a ton off my head. Giants... Roster moves, trade trades. Let me Google this quick because I don't want to be entirely wrong. Um, 
I don't know who they actually have gone out and gotten. Tommy Lastello, they released. They signed free agent Michael Conforto. Okay. That's about it. They signed Luke Jackson. Okay. They haven't made a ton of moves this year. And um, I guess they signed Taylor Rogers, but that's not a, a hitter. So uh, Sean Manaya. Okay. Like, I'm not looking at a guy and seeing anywhere that they... Oh, they did sign Mitch Hanniger too. Okay. Point being, they are on the up and up. They need a guy like Gary Sanchez. And I don't think he makes or breaks the team, but he at least gets them closer to a completed team. And a guy who, again, mentors the, the younger Joey Bart, can help him a little bit. And he's a backup, right? He's going to be a guy who is there and can and can produce. And again, you didn't go spend a ton of money this offseason. You might as well, right? So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you guys think either the Angels, the Royals, or the Giants make sense for Gary Sanchez, or if he goes somewhere else completely. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!